What's up, y'all? Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the inverse square law, okay? And this is of extreme importance. It's very simple. Don't run away with your tail tucked between your legs. Uh, it's very simple and it's very um, important to understand. So uh, check it out. It's going to be the bomb, baby. The inverse square law, uh, basically, it quantifies um, how, at what rate does light fade away? Does it fade off? You know, why does light fade off? What, what, at what rate is it going to fade away, you know? So, and you can get a direct measurement of how much it's fading at what distances when you know the inverse square law, you know? The inverse square law simply states that the intensity of the light decreases um, by the distance squared, okay? So quite simply, uh, if you're one foot away from a light source and you're, you know, your light is hitting it at an intensity that's going to be, you know, F8, right? If you go away double that distance, so if you were at one feet and now you go two feet away, uh, the light source is going to decrease by four times the amount. So you're going to be getting one quarter of the light here that you were getting here, which means that you have to now open up two stops to get the same exposure. Very simple concept, but it applies to so many things in photography to, to seeing light and reading light. Um, this is going to help you with, you know, understanding light drop off, the fade away and that's the thing, it's how fast light drops off. All right, now here's an example of that. Right now I'm arm's distance away from my light, okay? If I reach out, I'll touch that light. Now if I go arm's distance away from here, I'm gonna be two f-stops darker, right? Can you see that? And if I go arm's distance away from there, now I'm three times away, so it's nine, okay? So three squared is nine, so now I'm, I'm nine times less light is hitting me, okay? Now, we could round that up to, you know, well, we can go to eight, round it down, actually, and say, hey, well, that's, you know, to go eight times less light is now four stops away. You know what I'm saying? So your distance in the light will affect what f-stop you're going to be at and what aperture or whatever, but you'll know, you can know that moving it a certain amount is just equal to a couple clicks. And so if you don't want to change your aperture, your shutter speed, or whatever, you know that you can just move the light a little bit, or you can move your subject a little bit away from the light, or however it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the inverse square law comes into play um, in, you know, in all sorts of things in photography, but here's a couple examples. Um, now, we talked about the sun and the sun being an emitter of light, okay? Now, if you're standing, you know, four or five feet from the camera, and you double your distance from the camera and you're in the sun, it doesn't matter. It's not the distance to the camera, it's the distance to the light source, okay? Um, now the sun's 93 million miles away. Now if you're 93 million miles and five more feet away, it doesn't matter because it's such a minuscule you know, amount of light that's, that you're not doubling anything. You're just going a little tiny bit further. Now if you get that same sunlight and the sunlight comes and it hits a reflector and hits the person, the reflector is now the new uh, light emitting source, okay? So we talked about, you know, a reflector not truly reflecting light, but really re-emitting light. So now the light is re-emitting off of the reflected, you know, white board. And when it hits a person, if you're two feet away from that board and you move two more feet away, you're, it's going to be a quarter of the intensity of the light hitting you, okay? So that's very important, you know? So if you're using the sun and the sun's coming from behind to backlight someone and it's reflecting off of a... a, a source that's re-emitting the light, then it's going to, uh, the intensity is going to change as you move that reflector away from them. Now, if you used a specular reflector, a true reflector, such as a mirror, and you have the sunlight hitting the mirror and bouncing back on the person, the light intensity isn't going to change if the person moves two feet away because the light's not re-emitting, it's just changing direction. It's not changing its intensity. So from 93 million miles away, it's hitting there, and then it's going 93 million miles and two feet, if you go two more feet away, it's not going to change the intensity of the light by any noticeable amount. In fact, probably by no amount at all. Noticeable to anything, anyone, anywhere. Um, but if it's something that's re-emitting the light, then the light being emitted off of something is going to change, the intensity is going to change as you back away. Same thing if you're passing that sunlight through something and it's hitting a translucent thing. When it hits, it's being re-emitted through there. And now each of these little point sources are all over this thing and it's being re-emitted. The light is going to fade away when the distance changes. So if you're two feet away from this, from this uh, you know, diffuser, 
and you move to four feet away, you're gonna, the light's gonna change according to the inverse square law, okay? Now, that's very, very important to understand. So, you know, that is a, a, one of the applications in photography that really makes a difference in the inverse square law, and it, it applies with reflecting light and re-emitting light. And, um, you know, so these are all things that, you know, um, you know, if they don't mean anything to you right now and you think I'm stupid, then, uh, oh, well, you know. <laughs> but if they don't apply to you right now and you think, you know what, I'm going to look into that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do these things. You're going to move on. You're going to you're going to move up. So, you know, uh, you know, your level of photography is going to be going up. Your level of photography is going to be changing. And I'm glad that I can be teaching you this and sharing to you this knowledge that I've, I've gained through, you know, years of photography and you know this is something that I recently learned I recently learned from a, a fantastic photographer named Nels Israelson he's an unsung hero he takes pictures of uh, all sorts of things you've seen his work you you've seen his work um, you know if you've ever seen a poster for spider-man it looks like a you know computer graphic it's not it's Nels Israelson's photography if you've seen you know the X-Men you know Wolverine if you've seen uh, you know the pictures for um, the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Caribbean, the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, you know, th that's all Nails Israelson, and he's an unsung hero in the world of photography, and I learned this stuff directly from him, man, he's an awesome guy, so, um, anyhow, you know, uh, you know, th this information is, you know, he, he said it was cool if I tell all you guys, so, you know, thank Nels, too, um, but it, it's just information, you know, it's just information, it's not mine, it's not Nels information, it's, you know, it's just information, you know, the, the inverse square law is the law of physics, and, um, you know, that's what it is. And so, you know, point light source is information. That's just information. So, um, you know, share it and use it and, uh, you know, apply it in your photography. And, um, you know, you should be bumping up. These things have been on for over a year now. And, uh, you know, I hope your photography is improving. Shoot, I know mine is just from teaching. So uh, I hope yours is from learning. So peace, y'all. I love you guys, man. Keep watching. And, uh, you know, subscribe and thumbs up and all that good stuff. So take her and buy my DVDs.